So when you're thinking of picking up a slick premium laptop, Huawei is not the first name in mind, but I can change that for you with the Huawei MateBook X Pro. Yeah, kind of a hard name to pronounce, but here it is. This is the laptop a lot of people are talking about. I've got to spend some time with it, and I'm quite impressed. I'm impressed because it does a lot of things that I want a slick laptop to do. Now, first off, design. It's a really nice design, very simple, um, all the way, all around, really nice flush finish. The Huawei logo on top, you've got uh, uh, two USB Type-C ports on the right and on the left-hand side with a headphone jack, which is nice. You've also got a full USB port on the right-hand side. Now, I did wish you'd have micro, US, micro SD or at least an SD card slot so that we can have some of that uh, transfer connectivity. But once you open this up, it does kind of look like a MacBook clone. I will put that out there, but one thing that the MacBook doesn't have with this is when you take a look at that display, it has a 91% screen to body ratio, which is absolutely fantastic, which means very thin bezels, and it helps them pack, of course, a lot more of the resolution on there. Aspect ratio is three by two, resolution 3000 by 2000. It's got 415 inch, so it's a really bright display as well. So when you're watching content on this, it looks really good, very vibrant, very sharp. And also you've got speakers right there for or at least top facing speakers on the keyboard with Dolby Atmos built in. And you know what? Just take a listen. Pretty good, right? Sounds pretty awesome. And games look very vivid. Sharp, vibrant, you know, Far Cry 5 there looks really good, especially intense firefights. Sounds great. Audio is really good on this. The display looks really vibrant. But you wonder, okay, what's the performance? What do I get in here? Well, it's a it's an eighth generation Core i5 or Core i7 processor. You've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. You can get up to 512 gigabytes of storage, NVMe on this. And you can also get the NVIDIA MX150 graphics card, dedicated graphics card with two gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. So what does the OWL mean? It means for someone like me, productivity wise, I can edit video on this bad boy. Again, think about it. See how thin and light this is? I can actually edit video on here. Uh, a three minute video for me rendering in 1080p took about three minutes. Of course, with no LUTs or anything like that. A three minute video 4K rendering took about six, seven minutes. Again, quite acceptable. Of course, that will scale when I do more things on that video, but I did like the fact that I could take something this thin on, on the road and do some really good productive work on here. And it does have the ports, you know, it, do, it does have uh, USB, it does have USB Type-C, and it has a headphone jack. So it means that this is not crippled by uh, just the thinness of the design that this device actually has. Now, uh, I did mention that display looking so vibrant and also so thin in terms of be bezels. 91% screen to body ratio, which means something's missing. There is no webcam? Nah, not, not entirely. Now, if you're looking between the F6 and F7 keys, there's a button. You press that button, the webcam rises out from beneath the keyboard. And that's where the webcam is housed. Now, some people may argue about this. I do like it. I do like the placement. I like the fact that they went with a nice idea, of course, to, to give us an improved display, but also to give us that webcam. Now, I do wish every single laptop manufacturer would give us a 4K webcam because, come on, if we can get 4K video on our smartphones, we can get it on our webcams, right? But still though, it's a nice placement for me. I do like it and I think it works out pretty well. Now, battery life, you're looking at roughly 10 hours in my use case scenario. They quote 12 hours, but I think 10 hours is still acceptable and it's pretty solid for battery performance, just video playback. So again, you do have something that lasts you quite long, at least all day performance, if you will. Uh, some really solid uh, performance in terms of doing work structure. And again, when you're browsing the web, you're using the touch screen, it's a touch screen panel. Uh, the touchpad is really smooth. The keyboards feel really nice to type on. I think you've got a really solid product here that I think even though some might call it a MacBook Club, Alone, the MacBook and a lot of uh, Windows laptop cannot actually compete with what this has to offer. 
Now you're probably thinking, where can I get it? Well, it's not out in the US yet, but it is available in Europe. Now pricing starts at 1,850, which is about 14.99 in euros. Now, when it comes to the US, there'll be US pricing for that. But I think this is something you definitely want to pick up. So if you're thinking of uh, picking up this device, I'll put the links down for you down below. But if you have any questions or any comments about the Huawei MateBook X Pro, let me know, try and answer them for you. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.